Hello, this is Coach Mack, and I am showing you this very short video about how to hit a basic beginning tennis serve. And I'm making this video specifically for my uh, 7th and 8th grade students that are considering applying for the tennis team. And on um, one of those qualifications that you had to be able to do, you had to be passing everything, you gotta be, have good behavior in the classroom, you gotta be able to get a ride to and from the high school courts in the afternoons. And so if you think you've met all those and your teacher gives you good recommendations, then one of the other requirements is that you got to be able to uh, be able to throw. In other words, you gotta be able to serve. And the reason that I, I do this is because uh, we have to be able to play a match three weeks um, after we start. So, uh, you know, we start practice. A lot of my kids are, you know, beginner beginners. They've never hit a ball before. And I've got to get at least where you can hit serves in the court. Because if you can't serve, then you can't play. So, and I've got to do that in three weeks. Well, if you cannot toss the ball up within a reasonable area and you can't toss it up and then be able to hit it at least somewhere over the net, then it's gonna take longer than three weeks for you to learn that. And that means you will not be able to help us when we need you to play. So the, the people that played softball, baseball, volleyball, you'll be able to throw. Okay, and it's just a matter of getting the timing down between the toss and how you're, where you're hitting it. Notice like in volleyball, you spike it with your hand. Well, you got a racket up here about you know 20 inches past your hand. So, you know, it's a little bit different uh, idea in it. You just gotta practice it a little bit to get it down. Now, uh, what you would do to hit a basic serve is that you could just start with the racket on your shoulder, like this, and just toss it and hit it off your shoulder. The real serve looks something like this. You see pros play, they're like this, they toss it up, they swing, and they hit it with a full motion. Well, this whole thing here is actually complicated, and so don't try that. All I want you to do is be able to hit the ball off your shoulder. We'll work up to using the full swing when you get this down. So you've got the racket on your shoulder and we're here like this and now I'm ready for my swing. My swing would look something like this. I'd swing up, that's where I would strike it, somewhere up there, follow through down and across your left side. Now in volleyball, you follow across right. In tennis, you follow across left and that has to do with the fact that you will hit yourself in the shin if you go straight down and it will not feel very good. So everybody follows through across to the left. So you would be here, you'd swing up, go down and across. And just try some of those practice swings first and say, how are you doing now? You don't swing like this, you just go swing right up here. And if you need to choke up a little bit, you could. If it feels like the racket's too long for you, you could do that. And by the way, if you want to practice this, I will have some old tennis rackets and some tennis balls in my classroom, C121. If you want to come by and get some of those from me, to come up and practice, that would be fine. Don't go out and buy you know, tennis balls and a tennis racket just to see if you are able to apply for the team. So um, I'm here and now I'm gonna take my left hand, assuming I'm a right-handed player, and I'm gonna toss it. I've gotta put it up in the air with my left hand and hit it with my right hand. So the toss is where a lot of people have a problem because for one, it's with their left hand. And a lot of people are okay with their right and they can swing fine, but they can't get the ball anywhere close consistently to be able to hit it and and that's a problem so you'll hold it gently in your fingers not in your palm not in your fingertips just gently in your fingers and you'll hold it out here in front like this again I'm kind of sideways to where I want to hit it to and I'm actually trying to hit the ball across the court into a little box on the other side called a service court uh, but I don't really care if it goes in that court just if you can get it over the net that tells me that you'll be able to serve we can work on placing it later but I'm here like this, I got the ball here. I'm gonna drop my hand just a little bit and then we're gonna push it up. And a good way to practice is just put the racket on your shoulder, drop down, push it up, reach up and catch it. Push it up, reach up and catch it. And you wanna to try to toss it high enough where you can hit it. You may not wanna extend all the way up. You may can hit it here just as a beginner and that'd be fine. And so you just have to put it up a little ways up there where you can be able to swing up and hit it right now. This is where I've seen players that have a problem. They go to toss it and they're tossing it over here. You know, they're tossing it over there behind them, you know, back here, and they just can't seem to get that down. Uh, and again, if you don't have that coordination, that's gonna be a problem. So I'm here, I'm gonna drop my hand down. And again, if I do this little practice thing where I toss, reach up and catch, 
then that'll help. And now I'm ready to try one. So I'm going to swing up here, some here. I'm going to take the ball like this, and I'm going to go up and swing and go down and across. And that one hit the top of the net. Okay, let's try another one here. And again, this is what you want to try to be able to do. Just hit it somewhere over the net like this. So I'm here, drop it down, swing, and I hit it over the net. And that's what you need to be able to do. So, um, and again, it doesn't have to go in the correct court, but if you can toss it up in a more or less the same place every time, and you can swing up and you can strike it where it goes, then, you know, I can teach you how to serve. And with the serve, you will be able to play. Now, later on, we'll learn how to hit forehand and two-handed backhands. You'll learn how to play scoring and all that and the etiquette and how to play the net. Uh, there's a lot to tennis and normally it takes years to develop. But, uh, and if you are not able to play on the tennis team, I normally do a camp during the summer as soon as the regular school year is out. And also other people teach, teach lessons. And so you could learn that way. That might be the better way to learn if you have problems just being able to serve, you know, immediately here like we need for the tennis team. All right, thanks for your time.